I think everyone thought this was an absolutely insane idea, but also kind of it triggered everyone. Everyone got really excited about telling a story in this way. We wanted to give the audience something big and epic for sure, mm -hmm. uh, but it was imperative that the that we would capture the essence of the Vikings and the time they lived in and their relationship to the natural world and they, the fact that the supernatural elements are bananas to us in 2022, but it, to the people like in, in, in the Northmen, like to Amleth, it's nothing supernatural about it because these are tales he's been told since he was a toddler. And yeah. he is again, um, it's not like he, oh, I, I choose to believe it's, 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 it's 100% real. So in that, hopefully will make it feel a bit more like you're transported back in time and, and you experience the world through the eyes of Amlet. This is my first time trying to make a movie for a whole lot of people. So it's exciting and, and it's cool to see that, you know, uh, people are embracing it, at least reviewers are. And, but I just hope that people who think the movie suck uh, still are rooting for it because it's it's rare to for the studios to let a, a filmmaker make a big movie that's not like a superhero movie or a, an IP. So like, you know, let's hope people embrace it. Now, behold. He's here. He's here. Mother, father is here. The king, my lady, the king. Your fate is set and you cannot escape it. I actually think, so I, I, I was kind of harboring this idea, this dream of, of one day making a epic Viking movie, but with in a, in a, in a truly authentic and genuine way uh, that would kind of capture the essence of the old Icelandic sagas, the, the poetry, that kind of stark laconic harsh world and characters and tone but it, but it was kind of a distant dream 10 years ago shooting those flashbacks it was only a couple of days on yeah. true blood where it's a little flashback to my character as a viking we shot a malibu canyon <laughs> doubled for 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 sweden and uh, uh but they were a couple of amazing days i loved yeah. it so much and coming out of that there was something coming out of that where I was starting to feel like, well, this was two days and it's just a little flashback on True Blood, but like, how amazing would it be to tell a Viking story on a on a, on a bigger canvas on a more epic scale and actually not just a two day flashback, but but actually um, have a whole, a whole journey, a Viking journey. So that, I, I kind of want to credit True Blood a little bit at least uh, <laughs> for kind of giving me that idea and like, well, maybe it, be possible to do this and then three four years later we met up and then that was kind of the genesis of what ultimately became the northman i'm gonna make you father i'm gonna save you mother i'm gonna kill you fiona i want to avenge you father i want to save you mother i want to kill you fiona i mean the cool thing is that the studio allowed me to use all of my key collaborators the heads of department that i've worked with before and you know we're such boneheads we don't know how to do it any other way so, so you know, we, we were working with this like incredible crew that was so experienced and done Game of Thrones and Ridley Scott, and they know how to make a, a movie like this. And and sometimes they would just say, yeah, like that's how you do a scene like this. But they were also facile enough that when you know we had to say, actually, we're going to do this part different, they were you know pumped to to go along with that. So you know, production was difficult, and, and the scaling up. Was, was a lot of pressure, <clears throat> but we just did what we always do. Uh, I think where it became more complicated was post-production uh, because it was the first film where I didn't have final cut. But again, I, I'm, I'm surrounded with like a studio who wanted to make like the most entertaining Robert Eggers movie possible. And then collaborators who we all know and trust each other and we're, we're able to be honest with each other. You know, I, I'm, I'm glad to have these great partnerships and you know, old ones and new ones. New ones. <laughs> Your strength breaks men's bones. Ah! I have the cunning to break their minds. Ah! And night by night, we will carry out my pledge of vengeance. It, it was definitely physically and mentally challenging, I think, for everyone in front of and behind camera. Rob had made two movies, uh, quite intimate movies. If you look at The Lighthouse, Two Dudes in a Lighthouse, and then suddenly you have... <laughs> 
um, a big action adventure film. No one had told Rob how to make a big action adventure film in a conventional way. So it was like, well, we're still gonna have shoot on film, one camera, one long continuous shot, even if it's a big raid of a village with hundreds of extras and stuntmen and <laughs> and the actors and uh, chickens and horses and it's on <laughs> it's it's an undertaking that is 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 uh, almost borderline insane. But I also really thrived on that the the madness of that and the uh, the the possibility of of shooting a big action scene like that in in a way that could potentially feel more immersive than all the other action movies because they movies are shot in a specific way, like basically like a, a, a music video where every action scene will have a gazillion cuts and different angles. And, and how cool would it be if we can have a big set piece with that intensity, but you're just like following the character through this mayhem. I think everyone thought this was an absolutely insane idea, but also kind of it triggered everyone. Everyone got really excited about telling a story in this way. When you're actually shooting it, it is, uh, the adrenaline is flowing and to not have to stop and start like you do on a quote unquote normal movie, it, it, it's a rush of adrenaline that's crazy because it keeps going. You're not like, okay, let's focus on this one hit and then this beat and then this stunt. It's like, you're actually doing it and you're walking around this 360 set, everything is authentic and um, it's all happening. And you know, you're gonna go through the whole story, the, the journey of this this one big piece. And it's um, it, it's definitely unlike anything I've ever experienced on a, on a film set. I think, you know, the most important thing is establishing trust. And, you know, and so it's great to work with actors who I've already worked with before because that bond is already there. So we can step onto the set and just get into it. I mean, look, Alex and I had known each other for a long time before we started shooting this movie and like had the very best intentions, but like it still took a couple weeks before you were like, okay, like I get it. Am I, am I, am I right to say that? Yeah, yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and that's with the best intentions. So, uh, and I think it's partially because me and Jaren work like in a, in a different way than a lot of other people uh, work, you know? And, but, but like, look, I mean, I'm super lucky that Willem Dafoe, who's one of the greatest actors who's ever lived, like, likes to work with me, crazy town, you know? And, uh, and you know, and so it was, it was obviously gonna write a role for, for, for Willem. And, uh, you know, and then, you know, Anya, I'm so proud to see how she's become such a, a, a star, but like, you know, she, you know, the, the, the way that she's able to, to, to be grounded and ethereal, her command of language, you know, it's incredible. And also just like, her professionalism, she, she was inspiring to everybody, would yeah. you say? Yeah. You know, like... Like that whole, the scene with Hafthor was a week of shooting up in a very remote location up in the mountains. One day there was a flash flood, so the whole set just washed off the mountain. And it was kind of brutal and cold up there. And Anya was there a the whole week, deep in the background, knowing that she basically wasn't on camera, but like, it's an incredible it, it testament to her, her commitment to working with Rob and, 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 and the story, the fact that she was there behind 300 extras deep, deep in the background, but just like motivating everyone, pushing everyone and like, you know, helping out and was it, it uh, I, I know that it inspired everyone else around her on, on set to feel, to see that commitment. It's it's been emotional. We had the very first screening in in my hometown hometown of Stockholm a week and a half ago uh, with my family, my childhood friends, my my sisters through the after party at the local Viking Museum of Stockholm, which was absolutely uh, an epic night. Uh, but yeah, it's overwhelming and um, that moment when you're uh, when it's something you care so deeply about and you're sp you're sharing it with the world. It's it's um, it's exhilarating and nerve-wracking and, and um, definitely emotional.